What's up guys? In this video we're going to finally get started on the React Native app and start making it. We have the back end all done pretty much and now we're going to get started. Now I told you we'd get started with this using Create React Native app but I was trying to get it to work and I was able to build an app. I was not able to get Native Base to work which I really wanted to add for the UI. Um, so there's some really nice components that I wanted to use. And the Create React Native app doesn't really do much extra on top of the CLI, at least for this project. We wouldn't be using as many of the uh, features that come with this. So I went ahead and just said, forget about it. Let's just use the regular React Native CLI. Um, so that's what we're going to do because I really wanted to get Native Base uh, incorporated in this video. Okay, so with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into this. So in Terminal, go ahead and install React Native CLI using this command. Um, I already did that. Um, have that set up, and then you run React Native run, not run, init, and then the name of your project, I called mine Silent Auction. And I went already, already ran that, because that uh, takes a little time to install the libraries. And then I just CD'd into that folder, and now here I am, here are the files that I have, and then I did npm, not npm, Oops, React Native run iOS to start the emulator. Now, if you don't have um, an iOS emulator, uh, if you're not developing on Mac, you can also do run Android and do this with Android. It's the same thing. And then you should see a screen like this that just says, Welcome to React Native. Awesome. So if you have that, you're all caught up and we're both in the same place. Now, what I want to do is start with um, Native Base and get that installed. We're just going to copy this. So we're going to install native base. Then after that's done installing, we're going to uh, link it with React Native. And then after that's linked up, we're going to I'm just going to copy this. After we're done linking that, we're going to go over here and we're going to just show a button. I think just show this button layout and see. Make sure it is correctly installed and correctly working. Okay, so we have that. We're going to run React Native link. And we may need to restart the packager. Sometimes you do when you uh, we just link this, so we might have to recompile. We'll see if we get an error or not. So I'm going to copy this. And before I actually paste that in, um, what I like to do when doing apps is actually just refresh and see if we're crashing. Nope, we're not crashing. Okay. Sometimes when you add uh, libraries with the packager open, it will crash. So I'm just going to clean this up a little bit. We don't need any of this stuff except for app registry. Don't even need that. And we're just going to basically, so right now we have two separate files for iOS and Android. I'm just splitting them uh, instead of splitting them up, turning them into one. So I'm going to importing app from the source. So I'm going to create a source file with basically the main uh, uh, app. And then I'm going to have the iOS and Android be the same thing. So now when I uh, create this source, index.js, import React from React, export default, and then we can say import text from React Native. And then let's just refresh that. So now any changes we make to this file, it should show up. Here we go. It says hi there. It's behind carrier, so it's a little hard to read. But any changes we make to this will now render um, on both Android and iOS at the same time. Okay, so now I'm going to copy this and paste this in here. And I can get rid of this and get rid of that. Okay. Now refresh that and see if we see the native base buttons. And if that renders nicely, 
then we have we can just keep adding these UI components now. Sometimes you do an error and you do need to restart the packager. Oh, just have a uh, comment here. Refresh that. And cool, we have the button. So nice, we were able to successfully add uh, native base and now we have these really nice styles that work on both Android and iOS. So I'm going to leave uh, it here for now and in the next video we're going to set up Redux Saga and uh, Redux itself. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.